Hello, this is your girl, Mama Mo, back with another episode of I-86 That. Um, this is a question that came up in um counseling session, and uh, it was very de debatable, and it was a heated discussion because, of course, you know, with this particular question, everyone has um their opinion, you know, about it. To me, I feel that even with this question, there is no right or wrong answer. You know, many people may say it's a right or wrong answer. No, there is not a right or wrong answer when it comes to this question. The question is, will you rat out your reliable source? Um, when you're talking about right now, your reliable source, um, we were saying, you know, should you tell your friends or family members pertinent information? Should you tell them that information pertaining to a loved one of theirs or someone that they're dating or, uh, let's just say a spouse or someone like that, um, or somebody else that they know, you know, like a best friend or something like that. Um, you know, whether or not they're doing something to hurt them or they're cheating or you caught them lying or you saw them somewhere that they said they wasn't supposed to be, but they are. Or if that person killed someone and you knew for, um, a verifiable fact that they killed that person or that, um, you knew that they were saying that, Hey, I'm going to run away or I'm, I'm going to kill myself or, you know, something, you know, like out of the way. Um, I feel I mean, I gave my opinion. Like I said, I mean, the discussion got very, very heated because of some fact that every every answer that was given was an opinion. Uh, like I said, there is no right or wrong answer. I felt that every answer that was given was, um, I can say they were very good answers, you know. Some people said, yeah, they were read out their reliable source. Some people said, no, they were not. So it's the same as saying, okay, um, let, let, let's just give this example. Um, if, uh, you know, you best friends, let's just say, uh, Lisa and Julie are best friends and Julie is married okay to Tom and let's just say uh, Lisa she's single you know what I'm saying she's dating around but she's still single well she saw Tom you know at the restaurant with another woman but you know Julie is your best friend and you saw him at the restaurant with another woman okay she decided not to jump to conclusion so no you know she didn't say nothing uh, to Julie about it but what ended up happening was you end up going to a different place and you seen the same woman. You don't know the, the nature of the relationship, you know, therefore you don't say anything. You know, I feel you shouldn't say anything. But um, the third time she seen, you know, Tom out with this other lady and it was still the same lady, she saw them kissing and smooching and all over each other. Well, my thing is with that, you're the best friend. Uh, Lisa's the best friend of Julie. Tom is the husband. Um, you know, uh, I, I need your feedback. What would you do? Would you tell? Would you not tell? I mean, because you don't want to mess up your friendship. You know, Lisa doesn't want to mess up her friendship with Julie because it's a simple fact that, you know, she worships Tom. She worships everything he say and everything he do and she trusts him. She believes him or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But Julie's been your friend for 25 years. She's been your friend ever since y'all was 10 years old. Okay, so y'all been friends 25 years, y'all 35 years old now, you've been married to Tom for only five years, so, you know, you have to look at the fact that, okay, you've been with Tom, married to Tom for five years, you've been friends with this person for 25 years, it depends on whether or not you know that best friend is reliable, have they ever lied to you before, you know, have they ever did anything to betray you before, you know what I'm saying, have they ever shown any type of jealousy towards you before, you know what I'm saying, so you want to take all those things into consideration as well, when it comes to whether or not you really want to believe what uh, a best friend or a family member or somebody else have told you, because yeah, you can have those best friends that are jealous of you, hey, you married and I'm not, I want to mess up your relationship because I want us to be back out in the streets and, you know, out, um, you know, let's just say, going out every weekend and clubbing and doing this and doing that or whatever because I don't want to see you happy. You get what I'm saying? Or that best friend could be the type of person where I don't want to see you hurt. I love you. You know, you are my best friend. We've been best friend for 25 years. I'm going to make sure you know if your old man doing something that they ain't got no business doing. So, to me, that goes both ways. I mean, that's why I said there's no right or wrong answer when it comes to that. I mean, I just feel that you should, you should, you know, be, um, you know, very, very careful, careful. And let's just say, um, you, you look at the background, look at that person's background, you know, uh, have they been reliable in the, in the past? You know, if they've been very reliable in the past and you know them not to have ever lied to you before about, you know, anything major or whatever, then yeah, I'm going to believe that person, you know, yeah, go ahead and, and, and tell that person, you know, what you saw. Yeah, because if you're my friend, I want you to be able to tell me. Even though you have some people that, that say, hey, you'll find out later on or whatever, blah, blah, blah. No, you know, tell me. I want to know. So I can go ahead and confront the issue right now. But then again, you may not want to know because if you confront the issue and you don't have all the facts, 
You know what I'm saying? Just like I was saying earlier, you know, she saw him with that person. It could have been his boss. It could have been a meeting. It could have been his auntie. It could have been his mama, his sister. It could have been anybody. You know what I'm saying? So, but until she saw him smooching, now when you saw him smooching, you already know that ain't no family member. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all ain't kissing cousins around you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's the thing about it. So, yeah, now you, you know, you saw him kissing or whatever, you know, she come back and tell you and, and, and you go and you confront your husband. So, if you know that Lisa's the best friend, you know, would you rat Lisa out and tell your husband, oh, no, Tom, because Lisa saw you at the restaurant. You was kissing all over some chick. You know what I'm saying? Would you tell on that person? Would you, I mean, you know, if, if they're reliable I, my my answer in the the counseling session was if they were a reliable person and I know they have never hurt me before they have never lied to me and I know I can trust them yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna confront the husband but I'm not gonna uh, read out my source I'm not gonna read them out I'm not gonna do it you know I don't care how good you woo me over and apologize and get on your knees in bed I'm not gonna read out who told because now you gonna have a vendetta against Lisa you gonna have a vendetta against you know the person that that told you own you you get what i'm saying told your wife on you so i i mean like i said check that background before you you read out who it was now if you know it was jojo from across the street that tells on everybody in the neighborhood then you know what <laughs> jojo told me he saw you kissing on another woman you get what i'm saying because we already know that's jojo's reputation but if it's not that person's particular type of reputation no i'm not going to particularly wrap them out but if it's a liar even if it's someone that you know that's jealous and has hurt you in the past and that's a liar, you get what I'm saying? I mean, uh, I wouldn't even co confront him. I'm not even going to confront Tom. What I'm going to tell Tom for when I already know this chick is jealous of me or, you know, you hanging around me just because we got mutual friends and, you know, you go telling the mutual friend something because you know that I'm going to believe the mutual friend but not believe you. So, you want to sit here and try to get some stuff started. No, I'm not going to believe nothing that come out of this third party person's mouth. You get what I'm saying? Because you jealous of my relationship. But, yeah, you know what? JoJo Cross Creek said he saw you kissing on all. Oh, yeah, I'm going to tell because we already know JoJo been a snitch for the neighborhood for the longest. So, hey, you know, it just depends on who you read now. And I know it may be wrong just right now, JoJo, because we know JoJo have been a reliable snitch. But, you know, still, a, a friend, a best friend or a family member, you know, coming to tell you something like that, then I, I feel that I wouldn't write them out. Now, my thing is, if um, it depends on life or death situation. Now, it may sound contradictory, but let um, this has happened to me before, where um, a real friend of mine, uh, daughter, um, was had had talked to me. She had talked to me, and she told me that she didn't feel loved. That um, you know, she didn't feel that her mom um you know, uh, care for her. She didn't feel that her dad cared for her. You know, they always paid more attention to the other, um, two siblings than they did, you know, with her. They felt because she was the oldest that she was supposed to know better and all that other stuff or whatever. And, uh, she just didn't feel like, you know, they, they wanted her there. And, you know, um, I was the person that, you know, she would talk to, you know, maybe like once a month, I guess, so she can vent or whatever. And she said that, um, you know, she, she felt like killing herself on several occasions. And of course I took that serious because I'm like, okay, well, that's just not the way that you need to feel. So, you know, I, I sort of, um, you know, helped her to get back into, you know, good spirits, but it took like six months to do that. And I continued to talk and talk and talk with her. But in between the six months, what ended up happening was she had left the house she uh she had left the house but she didn't come back for like three days and she did that to basically teach her mom and her dad a lesson um just to see whether or not you know in her eyes just to see whether or not you know they loved her they cared for her because i knew that you know me with me and the mom being real good friends i knew that she loved her you know it's just the fact that you you tend to um you know even though you love your children um equally you still raise them differently you know and that may not uh, make sense but i mean i'm the youngest out of um out of 12. um but the thing about it is I, even though the love was still the same it's just you you know even though the love was the same being raised was still you know it's, it's like like i said certain things that you can say you can look at one child and be like and they know the, the straighten up act right one you have to beat the hell out of them before they straighten up and act right. You know, one of them you have to yell at, they'll straighten up and act right. You know, one you have to actually give that that attention to and that love to, and they'll straighten up and act right. So, you know, the, the love is still the same all the way around. It's just a different approach at how you, you know, you go about it. But when um she came up missing, 
she had left for those three days and um you know they didn't know where she was you know of course after the 24 hours when um you know no one said that they knew where she was um they put out the um the missing person report and stuff like that and um i did because when she notified me and let me know you know that um her daughter didn't come home i went ahead and told her because see, she never knew anything about the counseling sessions that we had so uh i went ahead and told her the concern that i had you know which was i'm i'm you know, I'm literally ratting her out. I'm saying, okay, I didn't tell her what was going on in the counseling sessions. I just said that she felt a certain type of way towards um, how she viewed life and that she didn't, she felt that even if she died, that you wouldn't, um, you know, care that you and her dad wouldn't care and stuff like that. So I just went ahead and just let her know the things that she needed to know, you know, so she can sort of, you know, prepare herself just in case that was the case. But um, luckily, that wasn't the case. You know, she just left for those um, three days. She was with um, a friend we had never met. We didn't know nothing about that. She, that she had met on social media. We didn't know who this chick was. And uh, she had went and stayed with the girl for those three days or whatever. And when she came back, I, she got cussed out and everything else. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you scared, you know, everybody, you know. And um, that, you know, to a parent, that's not a good feeling. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she never did that again or whatever. But she saw then that, you know, she was, you know, loved the way that she wanted to be loved. And um, I am excited for her and her mom's relationship now. You know, her and her dad's relationship now. I am excited about that. But, um, yeah, I, I, I read it. I did because, I mean, that was like a life or death situation, I felt. But, um, you know, as far as like, um, you know, ratting out, you know, the reliable source for anything uh, other than something that's not um, life or death. Like I said, you just have to uh, evaluate, you know, um, the situation. You just have to evaluate the circumstance. But, um I want you guys to please give me your feedback on what you think about the situation and, you know, give me your story on whether or not, you know, you would want somebody to rat out, you know, you as a, being a reliable source or whether or not you would rat them out as a reliable source. I mean, you know, just let me know uh, how you feel about that. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, um, I have the description of my other uh, four channels that would be under this um video so if you want to go ahead and check those out and um you know see whether or not you like those channels and subscribe then um i would greatly appreciate that so this is your girl mama motivop i love you guys and peace